tonight. 54 is our low, so fairly cool evening ahead with partly cloudy skies and those chances of showers. Tomorrow, 82 is the high with partly cloudy skies. Those winds moving northeast 5 to 10 miles per hour. And today's high was 75, a low of 56. So we are well below average for this time of year, usually at 81 for our high and 54 for our low. We're going to start coming back up to that tomorrow and then we'll be above average as we head through the week. So a warmer week on the way. Still 75 in Spokane right now. Those winds moving north 7 miles per hour. Coeur d'Alene uh, 75 as well. Those winds moving northeast 12 miles per hour. Throughout the U.S. we do have a very strong storm system moving through Montana right now. That's triggering some flash flooding uh, as well as flood advisories. That same system is actually into Minnesota and Wisconsin. That has triggered some tornado watches uh, for parts of the Midwest. Here in the Northwest, not quite as uh, action packed as we head into the evening, but we do still have some strong showers and thunderstorms, very slow moving near the Cascades and into the Okanagan Valley. Now those have triggered some flash flooding, uh, flash flood watches as well. That is due to a low pressure system that's just anchored over the region. That's going to continue bringing those showers and thunderstorms just into uh, a little bit into the overnight hours. Then they're going to taper off. Tomorrow is going to be warmer and sunnier and we're going to get warm and sunny as we head through the week as well. But that has triggered that flash flood watch for the region um, because of the chance of flash flooding and mudslides. That's for the portion in or that uh, lime green and then down to, uh, near Yakima. We do have a flood advisory as well, especially for the burn scars from recent wildfires. 54 in Coeur d'Alene tonight with isolated showers. 54 in Spokane Valley, 49 in Newport. So a fairly cool evening ahead. 86 in OMAC tomorrow, 87 in Moses Lake. Sunny and warm conditions uh, and 81 on the South Hill. 77 in Newport, 83 in Spokane Valley. So we are starting to creep back up into the 80s. 84 for Colville tomorrow, 77 in Sandpoint. Bonners Ferry at 76, 79 for Libby. Kellogg at 76, 81 in Pullman and 86 in Lewiston. Some clouds to the north there, but mostly sunny for Lewiston. Yakima will be at 84 tomorrow and 75 in Missoula, 79 for Boise with mostly cloudy skies. As we head through the week, you can see we're starting to warm up. We do have those chances of some showers and isolated thunderstorms yet tonight and then warm and dry as we head into our work week. We do have some chances of showers and thunderstorms next weekend as another system makes, makes its way in, but there's going to be a period of nice, warm, sunny skies in the mid 80s, upper 80s. It's going to feel like summer again just for a little while. And I think it's just in time for the kids to be going back to school. Yes, it is that yeah. magical moment, I believe. So good, good weather for that. Yeah, nice. And uh, it, it did really feel a lot cooler today. It was